Hey y'all, N4H&H &H here with the Yaesu FT65R HT. And I've shot uh, three other videos about this HT. And this will be video number four. I want to give you a quick tip about this uh, HT. And then I've got a surprise for you if you watch all the way to the end. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you how to set up a really cool feature in this HT. Now, you know it has a squelch like most radios do, especially for FM. Now on this HT, there, let me see if I can get that in the light there. You see those two buttons right here and then one above it and then there's push to talk. All right, this is your programming button, function button. This one here defeats the squelch. So we know what a squelch is, right? Now the way you set the squelch, just in case, here's a bonus tip. Um, I'm going to use my, th you know, by the way, this radio has a reputation for being difficult to program. Not at all. I do it one-handed. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to tap the function key and you're going to see a little F pop up there. See it? And now I'm going to tap that squelch button and now it's put me into squelch programming mode. So I'm going to tap the down arrow until I defeated the squelch. So I go up one. That's pretty good. If I'm in a quiet area. I may leave it on one. Like when I'm on a soda summit, I want maximum sensitivity. But if, I, if I'm in an area where there's a, you know, maybe a little bit of a noise level downtown, things like that, I might bump it up an extra uh, setting on the squelch. So that's how you set the squelch. Just push the talk to get out of it. All right, now, or you, or you can press the function key. All right, so there we go. I've got that squelch set. But what I want to show you is another squelch. Not every radio has this. I'm going to long press the function button or programming key if you will and I'm going to look for menu item number 26. Well we're on 24 right now the repeater setting. There it is RF squelch. Well Doug what is that? Yeah, so you've seen how what the normal squelch is to squelch out the, the uh, really that's receiver noise that uh, that uh, shush sound. <laughs> so um, typical with FM. So we've squelched that out. But now what is an RF squelch? Well, this has come in handy for me because I do summits on the air. And we oftentimes are up on a summit, a mountain top where there's a tower site. And you, you can get some RF interference from those towers. So a prime example of using an RF squelch is I'll say, well, you know, this. I don't want to hear all the tower noise. You, you, if you've ever heard it, you know what I'm talking about. Strange digital sounds, really. So I want to, I, you know, already I know that I'm not going to be able to hear the weakest signals. But I also don't want to hear the annoying intermod from the tower. So I can go into here. Now, once I see the menu selection I want to adjust, I just tap with my thumb. And you'll see that the RF squelch is turned off. So I'm going to put my thumb here on the up arrow. And you'll see it says S1. Now let's just keep going with that. S4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then S9, full. Off again. Okay. So you can go up to essentially S9 or full. Let's say that um, the... I've got the inner mod coming in, so I, I find that if I put it on S5, that's high enough to make the inner mod go away. Now, here's the deal. It also means that someone who is not at least above S5 is not going to be heard. But again, I'm in a situation where I'm not going to hear him anyway because of inner mod. So this RF squelch Think of it as a different type of squelch than the other one, okay? The other one is mainly squelching out the background noise you get, inherent receiver noise. This one is literally saying, if it's not above an S5, I don't want to hear it. Now, that is similar to an RF gain on a Yaesu where you rotate your RF gain counterclockwise and you go, well, everybody in this rag chews S9 or above, so I'm going to rotate my RF gain knob backwards counterclockwise until I'm at about S8 on my S meter. That way, you're in a sense sort of uh, almost like an RF squelch. You're saying anything less than S8, I don't want to hear. 
And that's a good, you know, and I've told you before, in a rag chew situation, say on HF, 80 meters, 75 meters, you know, let's say there's four or five people in there and the weakest one is S9. Most of the time, you know, they're going to be 10, 20, 30 over. But you want to be able to hear every one of them, including the S9, so maybe rotate that uh, RF gain backwards, counterclockwise, to your needle shows S8. So you're essentially saying, I want to hear anything above S8. Well, this is very similar with this little HT, and but we're you know we're saying we're not rotating an RF gain knob or anything. We're just saying I don't want to hear anything less than uh, or unless it exceeds S5. So there's another little tip for you. Now uh, to lock that in, I'm just going to long press, and I'm back out to the menu. I could go set something else, or I can long press again, and I'm back out to the main screen. So I hope you found that tip helpful. I've been telling you that I was going to give one of these away to an S7, that's an executive, or an S9, that's a VIP member of the Patreon support team who make it possible for me to produce these videos. Without their support, this channel would go down. I don't have any commercial support. I'm trying to keep it that way because, quite frankly, I don't want a manufacturer or a retailer to tell me what I can and can't show. I've already had a brush with that and uh, don't want to go back to that. So as long as you guys will support me with your private donations, then I can remain censorship free. And I appreciate that. Some of you I call long haulers because you do that on a yearly basis. And some of you now are into your uh, as a matter of fact, I've got one that's coming up on three and a half years. They're responsible for you being able to watch this video and many of the others because they were hanging in there when I was about to give up. So I started this series saying that I was going to give away this radio to an S7 or an S9, that is an executive or a VIP member of the Patreon team. So I've got a box here, nothing special. It's an Amazon box, but this box is just an Amazon box with a bunch of uh, slips of paper in there that have names on them. And those are the names of the S7s and S9s who have supported the channel on, on an ongoing basis. And I'm going to, uh, to reach in here and I'm gonna draw one out. Okay, let's see who we got here. Jeff Wallach. How about that, Jeff? Yeah, and you you supported the channel for quite a while. Jeff Wallach. Uh, there you are. Let me see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. So, Jeff, I will be sending uh, this radio to you. But now, uh, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I like this little radio, so I'm going to keep it. And, uh, well, the truth is, I've had it a while, and I want you to have the full three-year Yesu warranty. So I'm going to be ordering... Uh, a brand new radio and have it shipped to you, Jeff. So I'm going to need to get your shipping address. And so I'll, I'll reach out to you uh, privately for that through, through Patreon messaging. So congratulations, Jeff, and thanks for your support. I appreciate you helping make this video and many of the others in the past uh, available to, to people. Uh, you know, I get people every now and then, I get the haters who say, oh, well, you know, uh, why do you not put all of your videos out there for free? You know, 30, the first 39 videos for the FTDX10 are out there in the public, thanks to you, Jeff, and the others. I'm up to video 97 now, and those are available to the Patreon support team because, well, quite frankly, you folks deserve something extra because without you, the free videos wouldn't be available out there in the public uh, sphere. So, Jeff, I'm delighted to be able to send you an FT65R. All right. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching videos on my channel. I do appreciate you. Please click like. If you want to make a one-time donation, there's a little heart symbol down there. It says thanks uh, right below the video And because I get people sometimes that say, well, I, I want to make a one-time donation. Well, there, there's an opportunity to do that. Now, you don't get any perks like the Patreon members do, but I uh, do appreciate that. And if you would, please hang around for another half a minute or so. I want to recognize Patreon team long haulers who have made these videos possible for the past three and a half years. So please do that for me. All right. Hey, thanks again for watching videos on my channel and 73 from N4HNH.